Oh, hi. What's up, guys? I'm Brad White at ArcLife Fab on Instagram, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders, and today we're going to discuss common misalignments and hole fixes on sheet metal fit ups. All right, so what we have here is just a little lid cover for like a rain drain over an exhaust vent. Usually there's a hinge here and it flaps as the exhaust comes out. So as you can see, this is how we want our tacks to look, just even and uniform and coming across not colored, not burned through on the backside. And here is where you got a little too hot, too quick and tried to carry it over. And then this one is just, carries on a lot. From the backside, you can see all the sugaring I'm gonna show y'all two ways. One, how I would fix it, and two, how most people try to fix it. Uh, most people are just gonna try to fill it in and bridge tack it, and then go over those bridge tacks and fill it in, creating way more heat and way more distortion into the part that is needed without cleaning or properly adjusting your backside of the weld or prepping for that weld. When you just try to bridge it, what's gonna happen is like, you're adding way more heat than what's needed in there because you're, obviously you're trying to fill a greater area so you're trying to create new metal but since it's sheet metal there's not much there already and then it adds way more distortion than needed to the part so the backside most people don't even address the sugar on there and they're not going to clean up the dirty part of the weld probably adding more contamination to the weld itself so as you can see here we have overheating going on as the has zone is pretty wide and the tack is actually pretty globular. As you see all the sugaring on the backside, the burning for all the old material, the excess material, you needed to fill that giant hole. Seeing as the weld is gray, you want color. You want colorization in there. This is overly burned. You burned all the chromium out of the stainless, so technically it's not even stainless anymore. It's gonna rust and you're gonna have major issues further on down the line, if not inclusions inside of your weld. So now we're gonna move on to my preferred method of repairing a hole or a burnout from mistacking or misalignment. As you can see, we've got overburned and over dripping them, quite a pretty big exposure that's going on there. On the backside, we've got quite a bit of sugar that's gonna go in there. My method for this is I'm gonna grind off all of the bad stuff, all the bad sugaring and everything on the back. You want shiny exposed metal. I'm gonna grind this down and grind that off. Usually with a lighter disc, like a 120 or so, just as it's sheet metal, I don't wanna overheat the material. Front side of the hole, I cleaned up all of the excess weld that was on here from the attempt and down on the bottom as well, exposing clean metal, giving me a nice, smooth, clean surface to weld to. Let's check out the backside. Yeah, removing all the sugaring from the back sides of the welds right here on the hole edges, getting all that clean material exposed as best as possible. It gives you a nice clean backside on your profile as well as nice space for me to put a backing plate for when I weld to so that way I can eliminate any further overheating of material. Which brings me to a backing plate. This is just a piece of eighth inch aluminum flat bar. I laid it over the table and used the hammer to bend it so I could get the nice profile round that I need to where you get a nice even fit to where it backs up to. I'm gonna clamp it to the backside, making sure I get a nice even fit and it covers my whole area. That backing plate is gonna allow us to eliminate majority of the burn through, give us a nice flat surface that the weld's gonna stick to as a base, but not actually fuse to and disperse a lot of the heat that's gonna go into it, eliminating a lot of the distortion from the other side that had. And you're not gonna to have to clean the backside as oxidation can occur because the backing plate eliminates that. Our main goal is to not have an air gap in between here as the backing plate is flush up against the back and the top seams. So as my procedure goes about, I'll start with a 16th inch filler rod and basically start from the top and kind of pull the weld down as I'm adding filler in to touch the bottom and just kind of evening my heat along and going about as a even pace with lower heat. I try to keep my max amps around 60 to 65, but on the pedal I'm usually 75 to 80% backing out to about 20%. So I'm not inputting too much heat, but I'm allowing it to go up against the backing plate and flush out the back side of the weld, making sure I get a nice even weld all the way across. I was pulling the weld from the top down to the bottom as I was entering a filler from the top side of the hole, 
trying to counter it down to make sure I get a nice good fill as I'm pushing in more filler and just pulling the well down using gravity to my advantage in this instance. Right off the bat, you can see that there's a lot more color in the weld. Uh, there's a lot less of a has area and a lot less distortion in the discoloration coming in. Let's pop off that backing plate and see what the backside looks like. How about that reveal, Bob? As you can see, the backside has a nice flush, even profile. It's still a little bit discolored on the darkness just because of the amount of heat that we had to put in, but you can see that the has area is a lot less than the other side and there's no sugar. As a backing plate fit on here, you could see my weld area and the little black soot from the weld. It didn't stick on there, it didn't go, but it's a little warm to the touch, but nothing too crazy. Brass is preferred, copper is preferred, but aluminum works in a pinch and most shops usually have aluminum available. Oh, hi. I hope this helped explain an easy way to fix a hole or a misalignment or a burn through tack on the edge of a sheet metal fit up. I'm Brad White at Arclife Fab on Instagram, brand ambassador for Everlast Welders. Weld mean, weld green. Bye. <laughs>